I knew that the Jones family had been instrumental in that, but I didn't know what level or how, what the depth was. So I talked to the lady that ran the gift shop. Her name is Julie Gorham. <coughs> Excuse me, Julie Gorham. And I told her, I said, if anybody comes in here that says they're a member of the Jones family, I need to know. So one afternoon, she was coming out as I was going home, and she says, you've got to come in and see this guy. This guy says he's a member of the Jones family. And I said, well, I'll get his name and number and I'll call him. She said, no, come in and talk to him today. So I went in and it turned, to be, it turned out to be Dr. Larry Jones, who is a pediatrician in Louisville, who's the grandson of Lawrence LaValle Jones, who was instrumental in keeping Four Roses together all the way through Prohibition. So I talked to him and he says, would you like to see some diary entries from my family? Would you like to see some records from the Confederate Army about my grandfather's brother? <clears throat> and I said, well, yeah, I'd be happy to see all that stuff. So that evolved into a friendship that allowed me to get some of those papers to look at. And one of the things I found out was about the Four Roses legend. And the Four Roses legend is on the back of the yellow label, as well as in these records. And what it boils down to is Paul Jones Jr. fell in love with the Southern Belle, or so the story goes, and sent word that he wanted to offer her a proposal of marriage. And she said, if I accept, I'll wear a corsage of four red roses to the dance that was coming up. And sure enough, when the dance arrived and he went in, there she was in a beautiful dress with a corsage of four red roses. And we think that he named his whiskey in honor of that event.